Good evening all. Tonight I thought I would show you a really, really special motor car. And here she is. This is a 1962 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud II long wheelbase and a very uniquely bespoke motor car. It has a factory division. I'll show you that in a moment. Color is midnight blue. It's actually just dark blue is the name of the color. And it's just simply an amazing motor car from, the pers from various perspectives. Totally original and unique in presentation. The condition not often I use the word awesome, it's such a throwaway word, but this truly is an awesome motor car. Has a very colorful history, ordered brand new by a, a rather famous Texan oil man. But let's go into it and I'll show you just why it is so special. Firstly, look at this very unique setup back here. The car has, this was ordered brand new from the factory. This is not something that was added afterwards. A rear and fully operational dashboard with a speedometer, fuel gauge, taco, clock, altimeter, and a compass. <laughs> absolutely amazing. An absolute plethora of lights and all sorts of gadgetry. Look at this. Oops. Full collection of leather, change purse, Rolls-Royce insignia, notebook, cigarette case. An umbrella, before umbrellas became, <coughs> excuse me, fashionable with later cars. Picnic tables, of course. Look on this side. Sorry, it's a little dark in here again. Not only a picnic table, but look at the beautiful accoutrements. This gorgeous sterling silver. Look at the uh, decanter. Not decanter, a uh, flask with uh, sterling silver hallmarks. Beautiful shot glasses. Look at that. A little hard to see. So there's two flasks and four shot glasses. This side is designed to have drinks. You can see a bottle opener there. to the front. Many little bits and pieces. Look at this little compartment here. And this is a, a shaving set. Car was even designed and built to have a CB player, can you believe that? Um, front rear air conditioning, of course. The gentleman that bought this car 
1972 also bought a Corniche and liked the idea that the Corniche had cruise control. So he had Rolls-Royce fit cruise control to this car. If you look closely, the leather, is it's Connolly leather, but it's what's called faux pigskin. This is where the leather, it's not pigskin, it's Connolly leather that has been through a machine, all done by hand, of course, where it imprints the look of pigskin. And it's just absolutely delightful, no matter where you look. Look at it here where the light is reflecting all that really detailed grain and the little pores that you see with pigskin. And then in the trunk, this Radford fitted out. So when you lift this, this is going to be a little hard to do one-handed. You lift this out, and voila, you have this picnic table. In addition, with the car, comes this rather beautiful picnic basket. Look at that. just makes you want to go and find some nice warm place where there's a, light, a stream running through and some lovely bit of grass where you can sit there and have an afternoon picnic. Down the side here, it actually has little clips I can't show you and it's the only fitment that's missing off this car. It has little clips which held a tube discreetly underneath the car designed so you could put your fishing rod. Can you believe that? On the front, it's one of the very first Rolls Royces to have halogen lamps. These are not aftermarket. These were actually ordered and supplied new by Rolls-Royce. You can see how complex they are. And then it has this front light, which is actually referred to as a flamethrower light. This is a bright spot light, which is cable controlled. You can see where it goes into the back of the grill here. And from a knob inside the car, you can actually adjust the angle of the light that it's shooting. So it's a moving spotlight, so to speak. Just look at the condition of all of this. The car is super original in presentation. It even has its uh, original style. These are new, but they're to the original spec. 8.2, 15-inch Firestone cross pliers. Look at those. And I love this. We call this pie crust edge. And here's a car which perfectly shows you that it is ideally perfectly suited for black walls. This car does not need white walls. So look at that. A 1962 long wheelbase Silver Cloud 2 with a factory division and a whole bunch of very interesting and exciting little options. Little, not so little. As the story goes, when this rear dashboard was made other clients of Rolls-Royce saw it and requested it and Rolls-Royce very politely and respectfully as 
that was their way, declined to do so for anyone else because it was just simply very complicated to do at the time. Look at that. An absolute plethora of controls. Front air conditioning, rear air conditioning. Uh, that's the control for the headlamps. So much going on here. All right, once again, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Rod Sala. I am the owner and founder of the Park Ward Motors Museum and I can be found at park-ward.com.